Hold me, hold me, hold me. See, hold me, you hold me. <laughs> Squeeze me, sir. Oh. <laughs> Alafu nasikia watu nakuja wanaharibia mtu wimbo wake atitingisha. Tingisha nini? <laughs> oh, busy signal comfort zone. Inachezia radio Jambo Bustani na Masaya Japan. Good morning. Evami mtoto wa Nyali Soldier. Wa Munduro. Edgar Wangula. I see you. Lija. Jacqueline Gisemba. Nasema sote sana. Wakutegia radio Jambo Dr. Emeja Moses. Pius tuko pamoja Liz Ngash nasema asante sana 2021 who won be humble always if you if you're as rich as Elon Musk who be that anyway tuko pamoja ndio na washa video sasa hivi karibu sana kwenye kipindi na furahi kwamba tumeweza kujumuika pamoja asubuhi uh, leo na kama nilivyosema hapo awali nitakuwa na mgeni uh, dada huyu ameweza kwa katika mitandao ya kijamii kwa mambo mengi ambayo umeweza kuyaona Okay, amekuwa katika wife material. Nafikiri hapo ndio unaweza kujulikana zaidi. Okay. Lakini matamshi yake yamekuwa ni matamshi ya sijui natumia neno gani. Shakila watu ukuitaje? Shakila karibu sana kwa show. Watu ukuitaje? The queen of the streets. The queen of the streets. Mm -hmm. Si upate sauti yako kidogo. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. People normally call me the queen of the streets. Why? Um it was a name that I was given. Malkia wa barabarani wa kijiji kijiji wa kila mtu okay yeah mm -hmm. um, it was a name was given september that was when uh, kiswahili tafadhali wow. unatumia lugha ya kiswahili unasoma <laughs> kwanza shakili umesomea wapi umesomea wapi <laughs> ehe umesomea wapi <laughs> okay um nilikuwa ni moro girls mm -hmm. um from 1 mm -hmm. from 2 from 3 okay then, ina maana kwamba kumaliza shule No that was when I was in Limoru Girls from okay. one form to form three to complete my form for Limoru Girls. Eh, Kiswahili tafadhali. So from one form two form three <laughs> kidato cha kwanza kidato cha pili Limuru hapo watu tena wanaongea kikuyu na Kiswahili. Eh na usile tasaki. Au vipi bwana? Kiswahili. Um nikoa um Limoru Girls. Um can I talk English please? No. <laughs> <laughs> Kulikuwa na tashwishi huko na huko. Mtu anatumia neno tashwishi na Kiswahili. Ehe. Tashwishi gani? Eh yani mambo ya wasichana bwe nini? Eh hivi kundi vya wasichana. Mm -hmm. Kwa uh, nilikuwa suspended mara mbili. Wow. Yes. Mbona mko nasumbua ukiwa mdogo namna hii? si kwa nasumani ni kikundi kikundi cha wasichana ulijiingiza kwa kikundi shuleni mm -hmm. so uh, kikundi hiki kilifanya nini ama vikundi hivi ambavyo ulijiingiza vilifanya nini kwa hiyo hicho kikundi <laughs> Kiswahili oh my god um, kwa hicho kikundi um, na kumkua kulikuwa na msichana mmoja ambaye anaitwa Isha Isha um, alikuwa lesbian alikuwa yani anapenda wasichana hivi mm -hmm. mambo ya kuandikiana barua barua mm -hmm. sijua leta nini kutoka kantini mm -hmm. na tulikuwa kidato cha pili sasa um, akaja siku moja pale ambapo analala mm -hmm. kuja kuniambia oh, Shakila nataka tukue marafiki ni nini anataka usiana uh, kila wakati alikuwa ananifuata tukienda ku swim changing room alikuwa ananifuata mm -hmm. ikakuwa hivi hivi ambapo si kwa najua kuwa inglesi yani ilikuwa tu oh, watu wanasema sema shule lakini mimi sikuwaamini okay. hivi kwa shule si kwa mtu akuongea sana okay. nilikuwa napenda kunyamaza uko mm, pole yangu ni kwa okay peke yangu okay. alafu nilikuwa napendwa na wengi juu nilikuwa napenda kucheka cheka mm -hmm. Um basi kwa mbapo kukakuwa um vile tu nilikuwa rafiki yake nikaona kuwa marafiki wangu wengine wameanza kunitoroka mm -hmm. sasa ile kuona hivyo nikasema ah basi acha nikwe na acha nikwe na huyo mm -hmm. kumbe sasa mm -hmm. hapo ndo nikaingia sasa kubaya alikuwa na mwasero na mchana mwingine alikuwa kidato cha 4 mm -hmm. sawa alikuwa sa lesbian group mbako anakuwa na mkutano usiku saa tano ya usiku tukao na uwanjani saa tano ya usiku uwanjani ili moro girls saa tano mnaenda ku discuss nini my relationship imefika 
siku moja inajulikana mm-hmm. sasa kujulikana so wewe kipindi hiki ambacho mnakujumuika pamoja mnakuwa na mkutano sa tano ina maana kwamba sasa mkuu member yes wow yes okay yes i was already a member so ulikubali sasa ilikuwa kwa ni threesome wewe huyu no, dada it was an orientation just a minute huyu rafiki yako ambaye alikuingiza aha uh-huh. unasema alikuwa na uhusiano wa kimapenzi na msichana ambaye alikuwa form 4 mm. So wewe umebaki hapa peke yako. Uhusiano ulikuwa unafanya uhusiano wa kimapenzi na nani mwingine? Tulikuwa walikuwa wengi around oh. the team girls. Oh, ilikuwa ni team kubwa eh. Yes. So okay, when okay. I went there um, in the field at 11, that was when they were doing our orientations to me. Oh, now I was being recruited well, as an official member of the club the girls club. Mulko e club mulko mnahitaji shuleni. It is the girls club. Gla- girls club. Yeah, girls okay. Club. Okay. So kwa hiyo orientation mm-hmm. unakuwa unafanywa vitu gani? Unaona vile watu wengi wanapotea kwa maboe ni jamani. Eh. The orientation um hagian a key scene you needed to sign. There was a certificate that you had to sign. Okay that from there you are being given the person that you are with if there is any problem unachaguliwa mtu ambaye utakuwa naye yes sasa unachaguliwa mpenzi wako eh yes eh then wewe ulichaguliwa nani yule ambaye alikuingiza Isha Isha and Isha to the form 4 okay yeah so ulikuwa na wapenzi wawili yes sasa mnakutana wapi vipi mnafanya nini on the most of the time um mine was just kila wakati ilikuwa tu um kukutana wananiletea vyakula kutoka canteen um jumamosi ambapo kulikuwa na entertainment um tulikuwa tunabaki bwenini kwa muda wa saa moja tuongea tu zungumza nini nini alafu tuarudi sasa kwa wengine sasa um, ikajulikana um, siku moja tukapeleka kwa headmaster I mean the principal um when Isha was taking a letter and then your karatasi kumbele yanguka so one of the prefect picked it up mm-hmm. read it it was supposed to go down to the form 4 because okay. they were in different blocks okay the form 1 form 2 and then the form 4 they were kind of funny at the mm-hmm. dining hall mm-hmm. upstairs so she was supposed to take it there then it fell on the stairs and now um the <coughs> the prefect picked it up a couple of kid master yes she okay. took it to um Mm-hmm. Mrs. Kitinji mm-hmm. I remember mm-hmm. Mrs. Kitinji So apo tukaitwa counseling tukadhani ni ukweli eh, chape la kaitwa mm-hmm. katwambie ni mambo mabaya ni nini mm-hmm. tukapelekwa kwa principal alafu wazazi wakaitwa tukaenda suspension ni mm-hmm. kwa kwanza Okay Did you ever practice lesbianism No Okay No That one for I don't know carrot test tubes mm-hmm. no So what did you do Oh my was was just um kissing. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Just that one girl yes. Aisha. Yes. Okay. How did it feel? <laughs> kissing another girl. <laughs> it wasn't different. It wasn't different. Had you had you ever kissed before a boy? Yes. Okay. Yes. How old were you then? Um I was 16. At the time eh? in form 3. Okay. Okay. Wow. So me kwa suspended go home. Mama yako na baba yako ndio kuchukua. Kisa wanasemaje ni usagaji kwa neno la Kiswahili. Lakini wengine usamnumbaya kwa Kiswahili. So umefukuzwa shuleni kwa sababu ya usagaji. Wazazi wako walikwambia nini? Um after they were encouraging. Ah? not like encouraging whatever thing that i was doing uh-huh. but uh-huh. they didn't scold me okay. in a bad way mhm it just happened it happened mhm let's move on that think about your yes, life yes you are from 3 right now this is a, a really um sensitive class when you are from 1 you told it only a thousand days till from 4 and you are done yeah that was it munaona vile watu zungulisha watoto wao it's a thousand days una pigwa take usome mwele tabadri results <laughs> anyway <laughs> una swali kwa Shakira na mwanangu wa semester 2494 nataka kujua kama aliweza kurudi shuleni na kama alirudi shuleni alimaliza kidato cha 4 ina shot wali ila tu kwamba tunawasha video sasa hivi karibu sana iko naye uh, Shakira ndani ya studio kuna maswali tofauti moja nauliza uh, 
baada ya kuwa recruited kwa kuwa member katika uh, usagaji ama lesbianism ni kitu ambacho uliendelea nacho baada ya kumaliza shule ah ah okay tukuendelea nayo ina maana gani ilikuwaaje um for the past suspension mbio mbio nikaachana na watu mm -hmm. nikarudi shule mm -hmm. uh, drama part 2 mm -hmm. loaded mm -hmm. But two, um, it got in a jumamosi. Siju kwa nini hizi kituwa zikuwa zinafanyika jumamosi. Jumamosi kufika, um, otu wa menda dom, unajua dom, tukwa na wakati wa kutoka na wakati wa kuingia. Wakati wa kutoka kama umefika na badu uko ndani, uko nafungi wa ndani. Wakujua andi kwa majina na kripa telafuwa nani. So, um, iyo jumamosi nilikuwa ni mchelewa. Kuchelewa, tukafungi wa ndani ya dom, tulikuwa wa wili. Sasa, um, what are kind of for four sasa? No, she looked for Tiama by the Kurudi after suspension. Uh, yeah, okay, Still in form three. Mm -hmm. Oh, after talking more girls now, after the environment, my mom said that we need to change the environment. I went to another school, not okay, complete form four. Mm -hmm. So, the second suspension happened when one of the girls, mm -hmm. um, Ali Chua, which is on Shana Mugine, and mm -hmm. So when they were searching, they actually found out that it was in my suitcase. Because I'm going to make it back. So again, my parents were called. Because I was going to marry a pili. And that one was working more drama. Okay. But you didn't come and visit. You were part of a group that was going to marry. I got a big class. Wow. Intelligent girl. How old are you right now? 18. Make a couple of money. Okay. So you were going to marry a pili for four, eh? Kwenye mitendo ya kijamii nimekuwa leo kusema kwamba you date this kind of men, rich men, you live in certain places. Yaani maisha yako ni wazi umesema maisha yako ni yako juu. Eh? Ulijuaje mambo ya wanaume mapema hivi? Because the kind of man you want considering your age, Shakila you 18, uh, ni mwanamume ambaye amefanya kazi kwa muda mrefu ame acquire you know the wealth okay si mwanamume ambaye anaanza maisha you know your age met yes. bado anapatiwa pocket money na mamake kwenda kwa kwa mkahawa kula mm -hmm. umenelewa eh how are you sustaining your life and who are these men you're dating mnapata nanga wapi um i think it's high time just the way you're saying for what to kubwa ku expose watoto wadogo but not in that way um, is it just that me when you look at Julia? Wasimu, Kamara Fiki, Wango, Viv to be at him. Um, Kujuana now, Wanome, it just happens. Way in Afanika, it just happens. The way I knew you is the same way I knew another person. Oh, no, because another now happens how? <laughs> um, most of the time, you see me on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, and then from there, I put it on a we agree where we're supposed to meet mm -hmm. and then from there that's when things kick it off okay mm -hmm. so far how many men have you dated i've not dated like so many men okay because um love requires a lot of commitment mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and uh, uh, mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna have to think it's an okay i'm gonna have to think it's an okay i'm gonna have to think it's an Miaka yangu ni rusu nipeleke pale pole. <laughs> Atu msema nini? Pula 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 ati 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 msema. <laughs> ati kichwa yako ni nini? Iko na vitu vingi kufikiria mwanamume mmoja. Unatakufikiria kama wangapi ya tango? Because yako inaenda katana. Wow. <laughs> Lightning. Eh? Uh -huh. Si wengi sana. Ni siku moja. Lakini sasa hizi style kudisha na mti wacha kwa mapenzi. Wale wanaume ambao wamehusika nao kimapenzi ni wa umri gani? Um, from twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. To what age? Um, what is? Uh, I mean, umri gani is? Mtu ambao mumdeta ambayo umri mungi zaidi na umri Sijai uliza. Sijai uliza umri wake. Njia kuku kasa na. Okay. Kwa wiki tatu peke yake. Kusha. In these three weeks, what do you do? Uh, Meetups. Uh -huh. Shopping. Uh -huh. Netflix. Okay. Mm -hmm. In exchange for nothing. <laughs> you know what they say about you know what they say about uh, free lunch. There is no free lunch in Nairobi. 
ah, Nairobi, Nairobi. No, but seriously, there was nothing that happened. He used to come even like take me mom, lunch. Yeah. Your mother. Mm. So, mama ko na juo wa wa na ume bom na zungumza na ukwenye Instagram. Mm. Is it safe for you, uh, Shakila? Because you see, you're still very young. Na ni raisi ko mama me kuchukua advantage of you. Okay. Kusababu nukta na mtu nukta na kumtendo kijemi. Unjui mm. unakuenda na e unakutana. No, I think it's being principled. Mm -hmm. No, yes, you're principled. You're principled, yes, but you're meeting a stranger. Mwenelewa, eh? Uu, wopi kwamba mtu anaweza kuchukua advantage of you considering your age. Kila mtu kwenye nautane ni stranger. No one is familiar with you. That is now when you establish the relationship together. And that's when you know um, your limits to this person, what you can give to the person, what he can give to you, and mm -hmm. what he can't give it to you. 25 year old and anunuaga easy wigs was a woman's younger social media. At least, we get a woman in how much? Yes, we get a woman in how much? The most expensive wig or yeah. my, my wigs in yeah. general. Yeah. I usually change my hair, I think, weekly, if I'm not wrong. Okay, yeah. Wow, do you work? Uh, no, no, drop it, Pesa. I have other things that are filling up. Money. Vitu gani? Like brand endorsements. Mm -hmm. Not like for big brands, but just the small ones. Because I believe if you start with a small brand, you mm -hmm. can lift it up towards okay. high, then the high ones will come and see from there. Okay. Um, my only fans is giving me money too. Um, also, your own fans? Only fans. Okay. It's, it's a website okay. where you sell your content mm -hmm. and people subscribe to give you money. Okay. So, you subscribers on Happy Sofa? I know I have 37,000 subscribers. Okay. Yes. Wow, so you can pay for your money. Okay. Wow. Do you have a little bit of money? Yes. Do you have a little bit of money? How was your childhood like? Oh, my childhood was really nice. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was the only kid for like eight years. Wow, okay. So I can imagine being pampered here and there. Mm -hmm. That eight years I was really when close first with my dad. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. I was really close with my dad. Mm. So um Kwa kanani ul kuko close na baba. Yeah. What happened? Sick why you are sick why kwani ule semu kuba kama na mamango. Mamango kwa na chukula kanda dango, anti yango, sani kwa kila sa na kini la baba mu to kwa tuna kana. Mm. Tap to kapu suji uh my shield chwa mko do me kane. Why? Um Vita kuna ukwe straightness, dini, za ay, kasa mapana. Okay. Kupisha na to respect. Let it just be we don't talk. If that will make us not fight all the time. When was the last time you spoke to your dad? The last time we spoke was in an argument. Amboni lini? That was December. Mwaka jana? Yeah, because of wife material. Okay. Yes. Akisema nini baba kusu kipindi wife material? He didn't want me to be in wife material. Okay. Yeah, he was saying there was exploitation towards my side. Mm. Mm. And your mother? My mother, it took a lot of convincing. She said it's something that will help me out here. Mm -hmm. Because I remember when I did that video, I was in a new video, I was in a So I was in a new video, I was in a new video, I was in a new video, Sa nika jambia, the only three things that I have that I will get out of this show. One, if I get out of this show, I will be known. Now that depends whether I'll be known in a good way or a bad way. Mm -hmm. Two, I will be exposed to other people. The three million followers for Eric and maybe other people who come to Eric's page because it's a public page. And... Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> And their tattoo, mm. um, Nika Jambia, me, me chome kabisa, ni chome na ni chome na ni chome. Mm -hmm. So, me kwe. So, kwa mwen chome. Mwen kwe kichoma, by the way. Yeah, ni kwa ni kichoma. Kwa kwa hala nao ni jua personally. Kwa mm. sama shakila ni mstichana msuri. Mm. Lakina ule wambawa na ni jua kwa um, social media. Yeah. They can say I'm a really bad girl. Okay. So, I took it as really nice way to build my platform because mm -hmm. Niliana Eric um, took us the nine girls at a platform okay just no 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 really new ma no really new ma kidogo nasema wena baba mpatani kusababu moja ni kwa mababa ni mkali mno 
pili kwa sababu ya dini. Mm. Unaposema baba ni mkali mno ina maana gani? Kwamba anataka kukuonyesha njia. Maana ni mzazi wako ni baba anakupenda. Mm. Na ungependa uwe na ni, 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 ni kitu gani uh, unafanya mpaka baba mnatofautiana? I think I'm the bad girl here. And sometimes um nikitaka kusema kitu yani una kwa ile yako right all the time hata kunisikiliza hiyo ambapo ukiongea kisema kitu anasema uko na disrespect mheshimu una mheshimu baba kwa hiyo mheshimu lakini mimi nataka mtu mwenye akisema hii na mimi nataka hii tukae chini tujadiliane tuseme mbona mimi nataka hii na yeye anataka ile nyingine sasa hiyo ndio kitu ambacho hataki kusikia sasa mimi singeza atungeza kupata na hivi juu nikiongea uheshimu Ye yeah, akiongea nikiongea ni vita mm. kila saa magombano magombano and customer si zipo my, my peace of mind comes first. Wow. Mm. Okay. Baba ni yuko kwa dini gani? Ni Muislamu. Oh, mm. okay. Kwa hivyo anatofautiana na jinsi unavyovaa anakataa kabisa. Mm. Ushauri gani anakupatia mkiketi chini na babako tu mnazungumza na kuambia gaje na kuambia nataka mtoto ile gaje. all mm. mnapishana kabisa mm. do you miss him at times mm. what do you mean mko nyuma moja na baba mm. yeah. mama anasemaje hakuna na ndugu zako wale wengine hakuna wanajua mimi nikitaka kitu na najua ni mzuri nienda kwa nayo na naambia mom i want this acha na kumwambia indirectly yeka kuna kitu anataka kuniambia atapitia through my mom akuja niambia kwa hivyo wewe na babako msemi kabisa nikiopatanisha leo na baba sasa hivi nipigie simu ana sisi atakupa namba yake just kuongelesha really why why do you hate your father why why shakila why what happened we should think it is funny in between he made mistakes and made mistakes to make a counseling mara nyingi sana mm-hmm. going to so many counselors mm-hmm. but no vitu gani hivi shakila i think mama will be in a better position to explain that mm-hmm. mama tumejaribu kumfikia lakini anasema yuko busy sana anataka mm-hmm. tufanye mahojiano juma mosi na juma mosi siko kazini uh, unajua sasa hivi ushafungua mkumbi itakuwa ni bora zaidi ukijielezea kwa kwa wasikilizaji okay na mashabiki wako ambao wanakufuatilia kwa karibu maana mtu hawezi kuelewa jinsi ambavyo unaweza ku hisi jinsi unavyohisi kwa mzazi wako ni kitu gani kilitokea kati yako na baba mpaka kabisa hamwezi kuketi pamoja nilikuwa na ushauri ushauri ulikuwa ni nini chanzo kuwapeleka katika mshauri ilikuwa ni kitu gani arguments in the house he saying i'm disrespectful mm-hmm. um i'm also saying i have a voice i need to be heard he is like you um i'm the head of the family or my child you should listen to whatever thing that i say but lakini unajua ndivyo 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 natakikana kama mzazi lazima umheshimu mabako lazima umheshimu mamako ndio siku zako duniani ziongezee ziongezeke unajua ni bilia yes i'm disrespecting him mm-hmm. in fact i give him the utmost respect mm-hmm. but then there's some certain aspects he speaks for me then he's like why are you doing this when i tell him this is why i'm doing it he refuses to unasema ni vitu vingi vilifanyika ni vitu gani hivi vilifanyika kati yako na babako um i think when this whole drama not even social media so mm-hmm. well this pianisi man mm-hmm. been accused of stealing this that any ilifika wakati ambapo alichoka alichoka mm-hmm. kabisa mm-hmm. unaona baba alikuacha mm-hmm. hakukuelewa swali so, kuweka karibu hapa ni mama wala sio baba mm-hmm. wewe kuvutana na babako imeweza ku uhusiano wa mama na baba umeweza kuathirika nothing has changed okay yeah. bado uko pamoja na mama eh yes ndugu zako wale wengine wamechukua mfano wako kwamba umsikilizi na kumheshimu baba yako no, actually they're so close with him okay so so close 
Kwa swali unasema mkataliwa wengi ni mchawi. <laughs> Umeelewa eh? So kama kama hawa wote wanaelewana na baba kwa sababu wanataka ku, wana mheshimu baba yao, wanamsikiliza baba yao, inakuwa tofauti kubwa ndio wewe. Uone pengine labda wewe ndio tatizo. Yeah, I know. I know actually I'm a hard headed girl. Yes. Yes. I know maybe I might have contributed bigly to my relationship and him not being good. But ah ili shafanyika kuna kitu tunaweza fanya. You don't miss having that relationship with your dad, no, surely, Shakila. No, we are comfortable the way we are. And which is your comfort? Let me aside him aside. Amongeleshani ever. God forbid if your father was not there today. Would you regret that when he was alive you did not try? No. No. I used to cry so much, but then uh, I developed a hard heart and I said I have to move on. So long as my mom is I just have to. She'll play both roles. Nani baba ko baba ko baba ko e kuzai? I also should have fanana. Like you know what I mean, maybe na fanana na is not too much. Why? Me na opatanish. Ama ni otu kwa gidi na ghost. Tunawapatanisha. <laughs> Agenda number one ya ndio jambo. Shakila and the dad. No, we can't. Shakila unajua ni watu wangapi wanataka kuwa na uhusiano wa karibu na baba zao? Na mimi kuniuliza baba, ni baba yako ni, ni mzazi wako hawezi kukuchukia. Anataka mazuri kutoka kwako. Anakuonyesha mwelekeo mwanangu mwelekeo ndio huu. Inakuwaje unakuwa mgumu namna hii? Miaka 18. Unajua una safari ndefu kwa maisha? Mmenelewa eh? If I don't like talking about you, Kabisa, most of the interviews I evade that question so much. Why? Tutarudi na dakika tano tu alafu tuseme kwa heri. Wapo una swali kwake Shakila na kupatia fursa baada ya habari 22494 na barangu SMS 02044 45975 ikiwa na barangu ya simu. Shakila leo katika ili kuwaje? Mzee mkichukua maswali yako mawili matatu haraka upesi mazungumzo yangu na Shakila uh, anajiita katika mitandao ya kijamii Queen of the Streets okay yes. uh, Shakila what next for you you're 18 kuna azimio you, i mean what what your dream ndoto yako kubwa ni gani nikona vitu vingi sana i can't wait to show it to Kenya mm-hmm. Kenya is are you ready kuna pango gani unarudi shuleni Okay, I'm in school. Already they called me. I was in school the whole time mm-hmm. even yesterday. Unasomea nini? Computer science. Computer science, eh? Ndio mwaka wako kwanza umeanza. Wapi? Real University. Real University. Okay. Mtu mmoja pana sema Masewa acha kumtesa Shakila na Kiswahili na kweli hawezi kuishi <laughs> kwenye bed sitter. Kuna dada fulani anasema uliweza kumpokonya sponsor wake mpaka akapoteza meno kule Kibra. Yaani unaniambia ndio Sorry kwa nini ya mama unyako ni hapo? Usijui kama unaweza kuona story. Yeah, actually I was sent that story by so many people. Mm-hmm. But to me I believe there are some certain people who don't deserve your clout. They don't deserve your attention. Mm-hmm. I don't know, angalia tu kwa macho, wafanye kitu ambacho wanataka kufanya wakimaliza pop ya ishe. Okay. Mimi si Joe msichana. Si mjui. Hiyo story hata uliona ukashtuka. Asikushtuka juu nimezoea. Na watu wanasema sijui best friend wangu, sijui dadangu, sijui neighbor ni nini. Ah ah. Trolls ni vitu ambavyo umevizoea. Yeah, but lakini kuna mambo mambo mawili matatu usemwa kwa kweli yanaku yanakuumiza roho na kukwaza roho yako. Tutajie ni vitu kama gani? Body shaming. Body shaming nakumbuka last week I was crying nilikuwa nalia 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 tena nikatoka kwenda shule because mm-hmm. of body shaming about my tummy mm-hmm. nilikuwa na stress sana na text watu GC9 program you detox in 9 days tumbo inaisha hata mm-hmm. mamangu mwenyewe alikuwa nalia mm-hmm. as you beautiful the way you are so hapana miss comrembo body shaming and also um, people calling me a hoe i don't like that sipendi I don't like that. Unanita 
siji malaya mara siji when wa kila mtu acha the yesterday posted a picture and i had to delete some of the comments you got all kwane met him who celebrate valentines who celebrate farmers day juvelo melingwa sana i'm like seriously like that's what you can tell me lakini ni kukosoa pengine maana yake watu nakuita hivyo kwa sababu ya content ulioweka ya hadharani na kusema kwamba umedala na wanaume ulisema unga 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 kwa jumla actually that's something thank you for reminding me that's something that i want to correct out here yeah i think people misinterpreted or misunderstood me because mm. when mwande was asking i thought that she meant the 97 styles which were being asked by getrid mungai mm. so i think her she took it as 97 men so i was seeing shakila claims to have slept with them no 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 i meant it with the styles when you check the interview nicely you will see that confusion okay yeah Malala ukiwa bukaya samani simu yake imekatika Geoffrey Allah Bostiri ukiwa yaya Santa Mzuri sana swali lako tafadhali tukimalizia Sorry Anakuwa salimu Nataka kukuuliza swali Yes Eh nimesikia uhusiano wako na baba yako sio njema Yes Na kama waafrika ni tutumbumizie waafrika Mhm wa Afrika nadhani ni kama rahana kama mtu unakuta mzazi na yanda kutoka kwa kimbo wewe kwa maisha yako uh-huh. unaona ukielekea wapi kwa sababu utakaposema sipendi mzazi na wengine kuna wale wazazi watakufa tunalia tukisema eh hey, nimepata mzazi wewe kuna tiria mbona ume mbona umeweka hiyo usiana mbaya hivyo sana kwa sababu mimi hapo ndio nimefikia vibaya kidogo Mm-hmm. Nikasema Shakira mm-hmm. ekane na mambo yako ulikuwa unafanya. Mhm. Mtazi akuna vile tunafaa kumtenda kabisa hata kukosea na mnadhani kwa sababu yeye amekuleta kwa dunia. Kwa hivyo hiyo nikapenda tu utuele petu wewe umeona maisha yako inaelekea wapi? Um as he said earlier um things happen and you do what makes you happy. Me and my dad um sat down and he said if all the time it's arguing if there's some certain things that me and him do that mm-hmm. seem zuri mm-hmm. to watch any nazo it's so we mulia mo we na baba mtaongele sana tusiongee mm. kama hivyo ndio itafanya kila saa kusiko na magombano mara brothers wangu wadogo anaona it traumatizes them let it be if there is something that i want to tell you i'll go through my mom that's also a channel that's why the mom is there yes. Umedhibi mara ngapi na wazazi wako? Kwa jumla tu ushawahi unachapwa ulichapwa. I've been three times. Kwa maisha yako yote through by my dad and I remember like he used to cut things and it means so that's why nilianza kumogopa also fear. Mm. Fear also ilianza kuingia katika. Uli umechapwa mara tatu kwa maisha yako yote. Yeah. Wow. Mimi hata sisi sababu nimechapwa mara ngapi. <laughs> Sikumbuki nilikuwa na gongo tu mama meniangalia na sikuangalia hiyo direction yake coffee from noya. <laughs> hey, shakila mecha kwa mara tatu. Can you count how many times you've been battered? <laughs> no, global is the word. Masawe salimia shakila na umwambia cool down na asisambazie mzazi makosa msamee na waishi vizuri. Petronila asante sana. Mwingine naye anasema a uh, masawe mwambie atafute uh, msamaha asije akapata laana hiyo ni kiburi kwa wazazi apparent apparent curse is lethal tenda pole pole tafadhali Shakila Seriously? okay wengi wanakuhimiza na kuleta ukaribu na babako kuleta yani kwa mahojiano haya yote kitu ambacho watu wanakuhimiza uh, ni kwamba itakuwa bora zaidi ukileta mahusiano mazuri na babako See, we're not on that bad bad terms. We just don't talk. Like there's nothing to talk about. And that's something that Kenyans, Africans need to know. I understand that this is Africa. You need to respect your parents. I do respect him so much. But then there's some certain things that we can't relate to about. Okay. Yeah. Maneno kwa mwisho ni yapi? Kwa mafans. Mafans wako wale wanakufollow tu. A lot is coming your way. Okay. A, a lot and a lot is coming your way. Just be mm. ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay.
Also, you take care of yourselves, and I appreciate to have been because of you, and I'll represent you guys nicely. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Ile nyumba ten million bado uko nayo? Yeah, it's still there. Okay. Umepangisha mani nyumba unoishi sasa hivi? No, right now I've put it as a B&B. Okay. Yeah. Mwenye kununua hii nyumba yuko wapi? Ulaya, America. Mwenye chana? Mm-hmm. Bali uko pamoja? How old is he? That's something I've been answering so much. 65. 65? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that is the oldest guy you've ever dated, eh? I wouldn't want to see dating. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Sawa, Shakila. Nisemeji. Thank you for coming.